What up, SMT Nation? Quick video for you guys here. We're just going to speed test the T-Mobile network. Waiting for my car to get some work done. Getting some TLC. I'm testing T-Mobile. This is on the S24, Magenta Business, Legacy Line. And uh, just want to see how things are going, you know, speed-wise, capacity-wise. If there's been more usage in this area, maybe they've garnered more market share. Maybe they have uh, been selling the home internet. Maybe there's been some additional sites built or fiber circuit upgrades you never know so every once in a while you just gotta test all right so 621 down 69 up jitters low loaded ping times are great uh, unloaded ping time is excellent as well really really good stuff there always give the testing a couple couple runs two three runs at least just to make sure you're getting the results that uh that are accurate and true all right so 620 down 62 up looks looks pretty consistent all right so uh this is a rooftop site i'll show you guys where it's at um i'm gonna run one more just in case run a third i'm in the westgate shopping center in rocky river and fairview park and this place has a lot of network traffic for sure i know there's a t-mobile store around the corner as well all right so i think these speeds are true all right, so the, I've tested here before. Like I was saying, I'm just kind of following up on this location. There's a rooftop site over there. It's got N41 and all the upgrades. I did, that was done a few years ago. This was one of the first areas that T-Mobile upgraded for N41 when they first started doing their, you know, whole renaissance to their network. See how speeds can vary from moment to moment? That's why you always got to kind of give it a check. Uh, maybe there was some momentary usage or maybe it has a different band configuration, possibly. Uh, we'll check the bands, actually, and see what we're connected to. Okay, so 788 down and 74 up. All right, let's do this. Seven. Star pound, 0011 pound. And let's see what we got here. N41 for 80 megahertz of bandwidth. Oh, I'm going to have to pull on this. Okay. We'll just do a split screen. Okay. 80 megahertz on 41, 20, and 25. I'm not doing any on 71 on this connection. Or the second 100 megahertz channel of N41. I don't know why. I don't know. T Mobile's weird. I think what I'll do is I'll show you guys something. Um, two, two, six, three. Let's see if we manually lock in. Let's go clear all bands, NR5G. And what if we manually do it? Okay, so we'll do N25 standalone, N41 standalone. And 71 standalone. So that's all their 5G bands. Um, let's see what if that changes the configuration. Okay. We'll see if it changes anything. You never know. I don't know why the default configs don't connect to all the bandwidth. It's leaving out 100 megahertz of N41 and like 15, 20 megahertz of N71. I don't think I'm connected to it, honestly. Oops. Speed Spark seems to play nicely with the split screen and 4180 and 25.20. It's not even connecting to the other two bands, the other two channels. Maybe I'll try NSA. Yeah, I don't know. So this likely, we're losing some throughput, some speed. Not that it's a big deal. I mean, it's still performing fine. 
But you like to see what a network can do, you know what I mean? Makes me want to just put my T-Mobile SIM on an iPhone. Maybe when I get the new 16 Pro. Okay. Um, let's see. All right, let's go here. Clear all bands. We're going to go to select all bands. Actually, we'll do NR, NSA only. Sometimes that can actually perform better than the SA. Let's see. <laughs> of course it does. Oh, man. I know some of you guys enjoy your SA 5G and T-Mobile. I say the default configuration is not, not the best. There's definitely a 10 gig fiber circuit. It's a major tower site. It's carrying a lot of traffic. They got a lot of, you know, usage here. 967 down, 53 up. That's pretty good. Ping time's a little higher than before. Loaded pings are better. Jitter's still pretty low. It's a pretty quality connection, actually. And a crack a gig. Still pretty early in the day. It's about 1030 in the morning. Rocky River Fairview Park. 973 down. 50s on the up. Looks to be a pretty stable connection. I guess you can't really go wrong with either, but, you know. Why don't we download a game? Why don't we time it? Let's download Among Us. On Leafs. Yeah, right here. Alright, Among Us is like 500 megs. About a half a gig. It's like 470 something. What the hell? That's taking a long time. Just as a comparison, Verizon LTE over here downloaded this game in 17 seconds. Thirty-four seconds. I'm not impressed. Maybe we should try it with the SA five G. Let's uninstall it. We'll go with the default configuration. Clear all bands. Select all bands. Apply band config. So this is default, right? This is the way that T Mobile intends it to be. Oh, this one's better. At least from what I could tell. Oh, yeah. It's downloading faster on SA. Let's see if it finishes strong. Yeah, this one should be better. Oh, it slowed down. Thirty seconds. So saved us four seconds on the download. Uh, yeah, Verizon LT was 17 seconds. Verizon's 5G ultra wideband, the N77C band, did it in like 15. Just to give you guys a comparison. And the speed test on Verizon were like 200 meg on LTE and 5, 600 meg on 5G. So, I don't know. Not really making too much of a difference. Um, maybe we'll try the LTE for T Mobile. LTE all. All right, there we go. We got LTE in the top right corner. Let's run our baseline speed test first. Oh, it's fast. Wow, really fast. That's really nice. See what they've got. Blades of grass. So two eleven, twenty down. Let's see, we got ten megahertz of band two. 
20 megahertz of band 66, 5 megahertz 771. Sometimes I don't see any band 71 LT remaining, 215 by 15. Sorry for the wind noise, guys. Windy day. It's actually really nice. Very pleasant. That's pretty consistent. We're around 200 megs. Okay. All right. Let's time the uh, install for Among Us. second download pays to be on 5g for sure guys unimpressive i think verizon's lt was able to download the game in like 17 seconds that's the video guys thanks for watching and supporting like share and subscribe for more and turn on the bell notifications icon to never miss an upload from the smt we out this piece smt nation it is time for me to introduce to you aura give you guys an incredible suite of cybersecurity protections to keep everything that you do online safe. Keeping you safe from identity theft, scams, online threats, including protections for your entire family. They offer a pretty much a worry-free trial period. Obviously the pricing is very competitive, starting at $12 per month. They've got one simple and easy app for you to use. They've got incredible features, a million dollars in coverage, 24 seven expert fraud support, transparent pricing, the money back guarantee at 60 days with a free trial, no strings attached. So with the odds of falling victim to an online crime being one in four, this would change everything. Really should check them out. The financial fraud protection is worth its weight in gold. Help keep your kids protected within boundaries that you set forth for them. Proven to be the fastest, most reliable fraud alert system. And it's as simple as choosing your plan, simply setting up how you're enrolled, and then getting notified for all the things that it's monitoring. Start your free trial now. Use our link. It's down in the description, and it's also here on the screen. Aura.com forward slash need. You guys can click the URL. It's hyperlinked down in the description. And again, it's up here on the screen, aura.com forward slash need. Protect yourself from all the digital threats that's out there in the world.